Saturday, November 14th, 2020. Got some unfinished business here. You remember how the uh, bathroom looked before, prior to this. So I got somebody to go up on the uh, roof. Took care of the issue. Now it's time to sand this spot here. Uh, add some tape where, where the crack is. Uh, well, sand, compound, tape, compound, wait for it to dry, sand, paint. Then of course, phase three is paint the ceiling. Might have to, I don't know. Looks like I might have to add some here too. So we'll see. Let's get started. You remember the uh, sander I bought? I'll be giving it a try today. Well, not to, well, yeah, I'll be giving it a try today. So let's get started. I didn't turn this thing on when I was uh, showing you a while back. Watch this. <laughs> from me I'll say that much I'm uh I'm gonna take care of this but uh man it's really good if you ask me so I uh just gotta make sure how you angle angle it because you might end up uh coming in on a bad angle and kind of nicking it like this I'm gonna feel that ah uh, maybe some paint can no I feel that in I feel that in I mean, it's just minor. This, I fill it in. I fill it all the spots in. No problem. All right, guys, I just put a little compound up, just a very little. Very little, too. That's okay. Got some stuck there. That sander will get this. Trust me. This is just a cheap class two inch. No problem. Now I'm just gonna feel the I'm just gonna feel the crack in, smooth it out. I got a six inch sleeves a little. There we go. I don't like these two inch. Fill it in, smooth it out. They come with the uh, tape. Okay, so here's the tape. So I'm gonna just apply it across the uh, compound I put up. Just so when the um, compound dries, it won't mold into the form of the crack. So I know it's not perfect. I'll cut, I'll cut it a little too long, but it sticks well, so I'm gonna come with some more. I uh, probably should have put more, but it'll hold. Cause I flattened it out probably a little too much on the other side, but it'll hold. And I'm gonna come in with some more compound. This is good here. I'll cut that, that I'll cut this at this end. So oh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't put enough up there. I, uh, of course, I put a coat 
of uh, compound up, smoothed it real, smoothed it out real good. Then I put the tape up. The tape didn't stick, so I had to put uh, take the tape down, put uh, put some more compound up. Then I put the tape up, and now I put uh, some more compound up. So I'm gonna smooth it out with the six inch. It's coming out okay. So now the tape is up and secure like it should be compound covering it under it so it's going to dry i'll sand it tomorrow i mean time i had a little spot over here i talked about earlier so i just couldn't leave it the way it was so i filled it in and i'll sand it down i got the block sander somewhere i think yeah this one right here so i'll use that i don't have a um this is a, I have an orbital sander. I don't have a, uh, I forget the name of the sander. I want it though, so I see how important it is. Uh, not ankle, what is it? Um, it's like a corner type sander. You've seen it though. Uh, so I'm going to this tape around here and then I have, uh, since this is grout, I don't want any of the white paint I'm going to use to get on the ground. I have the uh, rough surface tape. Hopefully it'll bond a lot better on the ground. So that should be it for today. And then I'll just uh, I'll finish up tomorrow. That's a good thing I painted before. Nice mirrors. My wife and daughter put on the... Uh, on the wall here, real nice. So, that's gonna be it for today. Tomorrow, we'll get the uh, end result.